So before this video gets started, if you recently signed up to be an Uber driver, but you forgot to use a referral code to get your sign up bonus or guarantee of up to $1,000, don't worry. It's not too late. If you signed up with no referral code, you can now retroactively apply a referral code to your account. I'm gonna leave all the instructions down below and you could literally be getting a thousand dollars guaranteed if you use the instructions down below it takes like 30 seconds it's seven steps you can do it right in your uber driver app there's a way to do it now it's super simple so yeah if you forgot to use a referral code don't worry we got you just use the instructions down below and now let's get on to the video Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan, thank you so much for coming by. Shout out to Calvin Klein for sponsoring this video. I am a Calvin Klein model. No, I'm just kidding, obviously not. Um, no, guys, today is a breaking news video. Um, Uber and Lyft are considering franchising their model. This is huge news, this is breaking. Um, yeah, I haven't heard any other YouTuber do this. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one, so congratulations to the Rideshare Hub for again being the first one to cover this news. So make sure to subscribe for breaking news updates because this literally just came in. I'm filming this, I'm editing, I'm uploading it, literally all within the same hour. So anyways, here we go. I'm going to sync up my phone here. By the way, guys, check out the links in the description down below. There's a lot of good stuff. If you drive for Uber and you want to get that retroactive referral bonus, guarantee, whatever. If you want paid time off, you can check out Cover. New lift, but sign up bonuses and guarantees, Instacart posts, there's cash back on your gas. Check out the links down below. Anyways, let's get into the video. So let's just type this in, Uber and Lyft franchising. This is huge. So basically the reason that they're doing this is because the government is forcing them to uh, reclassify their, sorry, my literal, I forgot I live in an apartment building. <laughs> my neighbors are probably so mad. It's like 10, almost 11 p.m. Like, who is this YouTuber right now? Um, <clears throat> I'm used to living in a house or like in a, yeah, an apartment with not that many people in there. There's like 80 people in here, 80 apartments, I mean. So the reason they're doing this is because the government is trying to force them to make all their drivers employees where they go. Where, well, they're saying, well, what if we just, um, yeah, let's, let's just, let's just get into this. This, this is on the New York Times. Okay, here we go. Um, um, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff, guys. Uber, uh, under pressure to classify, the, so Uber and Lyft consider franchise-like model in California. Under pressure to classify their freelance drivers as employees, the ride-hailing companies are discussing another option. Uber and Lyft have separately discussed plans to license their technology to those who want to operate fleets of ride-hailing cars in California. Um, isn't this what the rideshare professor does, da, did? Something like this? Torsten, if you're watching this, the rideshare professor, didn't you used to have like, um, or do you still have like a bunch of like fleet, like people on your, like didn't you used to own cars and then give them out to people with Uber? A fleet of people? I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about that. Or if this is totally different, it could be wrong. I don't really know too much about that. But here we go, Uber and Lyft, which are facing mounting pressure to classify their freelance drivers as employees in California looking for another way. One option, so what they, so what the Uber CEO has done so far is he want, so right now there's an independent contractor employee, he created this op-ed to make drivers like a third way, which would basically still keep them independent but give them some form of benefits. Um, but here we go, one option that they're, discussing is licensing their brands to operators of vehicle fleets in California, according to three people with knowledge of the plans. The change would resemble an independently operated franchise, allowing Uber and Lyft to keep an arm's length association with drivers so that the companies would not need to employ them and pay their benefits. Basically, Uber and Lyft just really, really don't want to pay drivers minimum wage and benefits. That's the whole thing that's going on. They want to keep paying drivers, you know, just a, a certain amount per trip the idea because that way they don't lose money ever like the rider pays an amount uber keeps that uber keeps a cut and then um gives the rest to the driver the companies have not oh the idea would effectively be a return to the days of how groups of black cars were run lyft has presented the plan to its board of directors one person said uber which 
already works with fleet operators in Germany and Spain is also familiar with the business model. So they're already doing it in Germany and Spain. So they, you know, they know it works. I swear somebody's gonna <laughs> come knocking on my door and be like, shut up, dude. No one cares about your Uber videos. The companies have not committed to franchise-like plans, said the people with knowledge of the discussions who asked to remain anonymous because the details are confidential. Uber and Lyft are waiting to see how California's legal situation around drivers who have been treated as independent contractors plays out first. Um, Matt Coleman, an Uber spokesman, said the work on establishing fleets was exploratory. By the way, guys, um, the Uber Uber is set to shut down. I just got a notification um, earlier. This is my Uber passenger app, actually. <coughs> um, ride sharing in California is at risk. We have to temp we may have to temporarily suspend ride sharing in California this week, as on at Thursday night. Um, so. Let's continue and let's, let's end this video. The companies have not yet committed. They're just kind of checking it out. Matt Coleman, an Uber spokesman, said it was um, exploratory and not sure whether a, a fleet model would ultimately be viable. The Lyft spokesman said um, they want to, you know, have an approach where drivers remain independent and can also and can work whenever they want while also receiving additional healthcare benefits. Um, the law, which was designed, yeah, AB5, blah, blah, blah. Although the law went into effect in January, Uber and Lyft haven't done anything. If our efforts here are not successful, it would force us to suspend operations. So both, both Uber and Lyft do plan on shutting down, um, but they could do this whole franchise model, which honestly, I don't know if it'll work. I mean, I don't really know any other taxi companies that would want to do this and I don't think it would like make sense to replace I don't know I don't know um Uber and Lyft would invite other businesses to establish ride hailing fleets using their own platforms using their platforms that could bolster the company's claims that they were simply tech companies that built sophisticated dispatch services and that providing transportation was outside their core businesses yeah they're basically really really trying to get away from classifying drivers as employees. Lyft based its plan on FedEx, which franchises some of its delivery routes to local operators. Yeah, I do know that, but I mean, to do that for every single driver, I don't think that would be feasible. A franchise-like business can be challenging. Working with a fleet operator could increase costs because it introduces a third party who needs to be paid, potentially forcing Uber and Lyft to raise fares or reduce their fees. I honestly don't think it would work. I really don't. I cannot see that working. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this is the Rideshare Hub, and let me know what you guys think about the franchise model. Talk to y'all soon. Peace. Like and subscribe. Bye.